Formerly Blue Energy, the leading marine developer from Ireland, is betting big on floating wind energy. Once you're able to create enormous wind parks far offshore, the possibilities to make green electricity and store it in hydrogen are endless. So from now on, one can say, not only is the sky the limit, but also the ocean. Her name is Val Cummins, director at the Simply Blue Energy Group, and she's using an interesting metaphor. Ireland has been slow to the party in relation to offshore wind, it, it must be said. Um, but now that it's arrived at the party, it's absolutely ready to dance. Um, so I think Ireland is, is unique because we have such a vast marine territory, um, over seven times our land mass. Um, we have an incredible offshore wind resource, of course, that comes with that. And the government, of course, is committed now through the Climate Action Plan um, to uh, a target of five gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. But um, floating is really going to be the game changer and floating wind in the Celtic Sea off the south coast and off the west coast in the Atlantic is, is really a huge opportunity. So as well as the five gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030, the Irish government has actually in the programme for government stated an ambition of 30 gigawatts of floating wind for export. The two dance partners here are floating wind energy and green hydrogen. Together, they can turn Ireland into a green gulf. So the opportunity is to start now and to gear up um, for the industrialisation of floating offshore wind now. And there's almost a parallel trajectory, as I see it, in terms of how floating wind is taking off in the same way that green hydrogen production is an enormous opportunity for Ireland. And it's when these two things come together and this decade being such an extraordinary decade for these things to accelerate um, that we'll see Ireland potentially shifting its position. The opportunity is there from being a net energy importer with issues around energy security to, of course, um, being what we call now a green gulf, potentially, in terms of being able to export energy from floating wind and hydrogen production is going to be key to achieving that um, access to the export market because we won't be able to do it all with interconnectors or moving electrons alone. Thank you very much, Val Cummins.